Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you, for no reason at all, how to show your Windows 10 version and build number on the desktop. Now, if you're just looking to get to that information, you can hit Start and go to your Settings. I already have it open here. And from Settings, you'll go to System. And then from System, you click on the About tab right here. And there is your build. And there is the date it was installed and the operating system build. So I am 1909, build 18363.535 at the time of this video. So if you haven't played with your registry before, once again, this is relatively easy to do. I always leave a little wiggle room there, but anybody at any skill level should be able to do this. So press your Windows key plus R and type in regedit. That's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Go ahead and press enter or click on OK. Click yes at the prompt. Now what you want to do is either navigate to or go to the page in the video description and copy and paste this. So if you've never done it before, let me show you real quick. Control V to paste, enter, and there we are. So you can actually expand if you don't want to do that by coming up here and you just follow it step by step. So computer, H key current user, computer, and just H key current user, desktop. Oh, control panel desktop. So you just keep popping them open, control panel desktop. All right, so now that we're here, we just have to change one thing. And then we can change it back if you change your mind. So we're looking for paint desktop version over here on the right side. So it's alphabetical, so we'll get down to, there's paint desktop version. You can see your number is zero. And what we wanna do is we wanna change it to a one. So go ahead and double click paint desktop version, change it to a one, click okay. Come over to your desktop, close your registry editor, you're done. Click on your desktop so it's active and press F5. F5 is the refresh key. And there it is. So once again, if you want to remove it, you just go right back to where you were. Once again, click on it and change that one. See how it's a one here, so you know, to a zero. And that's it very very easy to do just it's one of those fun things it's not going to solve any life's problems or anything but it's just kind of cool a lot of people who use the windows insiders the beta testers they have that on their screen all the time which is probably why it's available as an option so that those who are running betas know what build they're running at the time because it changes so frequently so but it's something cool if you want to play around with it for no good reason at all hey thanks for watching again as always see ya